Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim Classic video. We are on the Gemma Phase 1, the Great Eastern Mainline Modernization something uh, by ATS. So this afternoon you will be driving this GA Express service as far as Ipswich. Uh, all passengers here and press F1 for your calling pattern. I'm going to avoid going on the outside cam on this as well. So there's quite a lot of AI. I don't really want it crashing. Um, right, let's get this all set up. Um, there we go. Uh, I think that's all fine. See, I, I believe this is actually part of the AP pack. Um, it's like the AP class 90 slash DVT. Um, so this is actually sort of the first time driving uh, from sort of the AP version. Uh, we have got the screen already. Uh, let's get all of these sorted. Let's see what we got. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Mark a lot. We want that on. So we'll do that. Um, oh, and also the this the um, the DSD is Enter Numpad Enter, which is a little bit different to uh, to the norm. Where's the main headlight? Main headlight. Where are you? Is it there? Oh, there it is. There. Right. Uh, day. Okay, that's all sorted. Uh, what's that there? Is that two of us? No, that's not two of us. Right, uh, so we are due out of here at 1400, so in the next few seconds. And we're going to be calling at Colchester, 51 miles. Uh, Manning Tree, and then Ipswich. Apparently it's about 70 minutes, this scenario. So a fairly long scenario, but should be a good one. Um, yeah, as we're in the DVT, we're going up to 100 miles an hour, skipping out most of the stations, so um, should be good. So just awaiting departure time now. What an awesome looking train there. Right, onwards to Colchester. Have we got a guard? I don't know if we have a guard or not. Maybe not. Right, let's set it to forward. Lump head enter. It's going to be. You have to get used to that. And let's get going. Let's get out of out of uh, Liverpool Street. That was sort of a bit funny, aren't they? The lights coming from there. There we go. We are off. And I've also tweaked the graphics and stuff since the last. Um, video so it should actually look a lot better now um, as before it looked a bit rough um, as yeah, I reinstalled Train Sim Classic so all the settings were sort of still still all the sort of the old settings what's that all about hang on what's going on yeah you do that go Okay, off we go. So we've got to be careful. So something we're forgetting is there. Uh, probably is, isn't there? That's some thing you have to do on this train. That doesn't get angry. But yeah, out of Liverpool Street we go. Sort of quite a. So it's not the nicest sort of coming out of the station, is it? It's so all just underground, and so it's, also, it's almost a bit like New York Penn. Just really not a nice entry or exit from the station. Oh, maybe that was supposed to be a brake test. Maybe some sort of brake test is implemented. Um, obviously, I suppose you're probably not meant to come to a full stop, but maybe it's something like that. There we go, so yeah, it looks just a lot nicer colour-wise and graphically um, as opposed to when we last gave it a go. So we're sort of trying to stay... Oh, there we go. Well, maybe I just didn't hold it down long enough. Uh, yeah, we're trying to um, sort of stay within the cab, sort of probably as far as Stratford. Um, sort of the sort of more intense part of the, of the route. 
Probably would have been nicer driving from the 90 end, but that's all right. Although well, I think the AP pack is also the DVT. Pretty certain it is. But let's get that. It's very quiet this end. You don't really hear anything. In fact, because obviously everything's going on at the other end, so I'm going to turn up the audio a little bit. Uh, actually, that should be okay as it is. Maybe just a tiny, incy bit. As we back that up. Get to hear the other trains, though. <laughs> Basically, just all we can hear is just the other trains. Is that 315 there? The amount of different liveries you saw on this route. Sort of pre flirt era. So many different ones of sort of previous operators and. And obviously the Elizabeth line was. Sort of, well, TFL was. Uh, yeah, sort of the Elizabeth line slash TFL was. TFL rail was. Um, operated by 315s. And um, obviously Liverpool Street over to Shenfield. So much has changed on this route in the last five years. Like probably. You know, one of the routes which has seen the most changes um, of most. I think that's the West. Is that the West Anglia main line which heads up there? I can already hear another train coming along. <laughs> I can't hear our train as we're in the DVT. Driving van trailer. I think that's what it stands for. A three, two, one. I haven't seen many scenarios of that yet, but there you go. There's a there's a three, two, one. As we quite soon approach the big Stratford complex, so I do expect a little bit of lag as we're getting now, as we sort of come up to Stratford, being sort of quite a you know major place on the route. Yeah, so I've got to get used to that being. I went. I literally, the first I went for E there, and it's like no, it's weirdly yeah, numpad into. Oh, there's a three sixty. I think most of them are now of EMR, aren't they? On the uh, Luton Airport Express services and yeah. I'm surprised the service doesn't actually stop at Stratford. Like you sort of think that's sort of an express service. I mean, Stratford, I mean, Stratford really has sort of, I mean, I think it is like one of the busiest, they are, probably not for too long, but it is one of the busiest, or it is the busiest station in the UK, which is sort of like Stratford, really. Um, so I'll sort of probably go back to Waterloo at some point. But um, yeah, it's quite a major place. And we've got the signal EP, signal EP, track EP on our on. Again, I'm not using the AP veg EP as I, that doesn't work for this route, I don't think. Not sure why, but yeah, it doesn't. That was a bit. Of, <laughs> I could see a red coming. I was like, uh oh. Uh, that over there, I think that's. Is that the Abba Voyage Arena? Um, so this is pudding. Pudding Mill Lane, which we're coming up on. Let's press it twice as it's lagging. Yeah, so it will be slightly lower frame rates for here as it's, is, as it's Stratford, which is a huge old area of tons of platforms, tons of track, sort of all over the place. <laughs> it looks a lot nicer than it did on the first look. Then you've got the 378s in there, and yeah, this is Stratford, with a nice looking platform. Probably the only thing which sounds you can actually hear is just the horn on here. There we go, through we go. And there is another 315. Which I suppose did sort of the mainstay of the more sort of metro services on this route. Okay, through we go. 
And then we go up to 90. Oh, there we go. In time. And let's get that up. So we're due into Colchester in... What was it? Yeah, 46 pass. So in 40 minutes, we'll be getting to our first station stop. Which is quite... Uh, you know, what was it, 50 miles or 46 miles now? I mean, that's almost like the full Brighton mainland, Victoria to Brighton. And that's how far we got to go to the first stop. Which is quite like, you know, wow. That is quite a way. And then also for that Shenfield, which I think is sort of another big place as well. Yeah, we are well and truly a fast service. I don't know if this would make up the Norwich 90, uh, which I think is supposed to sort of be the Ipswich 60. Although we're obviously not getting to Ipswich in 60 minutes, it's 70 minutes. And there goes the cat. Hey, so she, as soon as we start recording, she's up and about. And she's like, let me out now. It's like, no, you're going to wait until we get to Colchester. Here we go. It's like 90 miles an hour now. Oh, hello, what's going on there? It's on the left there, some like floating. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was bizarre. I loaded in quite late. Kind of sort of the next big area. What's this coming up? Is this Ilford? I know Ilford's got a whole sort of depot and. Yeah, tracks going everywhere. Where's that? Where's that go? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't panic. What, what are we coming up to? Uh, this is. Is this? This actually is Ilford. I'm surprised we got that right. There we go. Through Ilford again. We're coming up to the depot. I mean, this scenario should have like pretty much every AI train. Um. So, yeah, sort of going through this bit, it's still running, well, I mean, not at the highest, not, you know, the nicest FPS. But then again, you've got Ilford Depot here on the left, so that's probably going to have quite a bit going on uh, within, which it's all loading in. Is that a 379? Yeah, 379s, which uh, don't get used to, <laughs> just, it really is silly what happened to the 379s. But perfectly good trains, just put into storage. Um, and then two of, I think, yeah, a few of them basically died because um, they were, oh, was it at South End or Shoeberryness, somewhere like that? Or was it Harwich? One of no. Is it the, yeah, the GA ones? Oh, I've had that. Oh, no, we're fine. Um. Did, you know, did GA still operate 379s? Or is it CGCM? No, who am I thinking of? No, it is GA. Yeah, they put... I think it must be... It must be in Harwich. Yeah, not Shoeberry. So that's C2C. Um, they put um, a whole load of 379s in... I think, yeah, Harwich. Um, but basically, yeah, they died because of all of the salt air and sort of getting in and rusting it and just sort of wrecking the innards of the train by them sitting there for so long. Uh, but now they've got a new bit of life. They're going to uh, Great Northern, the 379s. Which is um, quite exciting. How long has the mouse been there? Let's quickly move it out of the way. Probably hear the next train coming down. It's a proper busy route, the Great Eastern Main Line. It's one of those routes where it's a bit like, for me, a bit like the Chilton Main Line. It's like, oh yeah, the Great Eastern Main Line. <laughs> sort of the sort of a less important line, but then it is quite a, you know, major line. Sort of out into uh, into the uh, eastern counties. Right, what's that like? Yeah, sort of going up now, the FPS now, we're sort of heading out into the country. I mean, anything above 25 on this game is smooth. Um, so, anything above that, I'm alright with. So, 
So that's a neutral section there. As we fly along. But yeah, this is the ATS um, Great Eastern Main Line. Which isn't like a completely new route. It's, it, well, yeah, it, it's an updated version of the DTG Great Eastern Main Line. So less crashes and more moving. <laughs> It's still not the highest the FPS, but I mean, hopefully it will go up as we go along. There you go. What was that one? Was that Romford we just went through? Yeah, because you got the you got the Romford up Minster line. Yeah, that goes off there. Cool. Pop that up. I wonder if that does actually, is that the one that goes off there? Or does that go off the other way around? Let's have a look. Oh no, it is that, yeah, Emerson Park and then down to, uh, down to Upminster. And again, there's just so much AI on this route, which probably isn't helping with the frames. As it's literally just constant AI. Oh, well, that's not nice. What's that all about? Oh, we'll get the brakes on. Hopefully it's not like a signal EP issue. God, these brakes aren't great, are they? Come on. Oh, we've got a fair few steps to them. How many more steps do we have? I went up to double, I think. Yeah. Well, put back down. And we're sort of, well, almost out of London now. I was wrong for that, so that's sort of on the outskirts, isn't it? Or sort of the outer, or getting more to the outer part. Right, we are following something, which probably, hopefully will bugger off at some point. So we'll sort of just coast it. We've got a neutral section here. Those stopping services, they terminate there. I mean, the, that's the end of the Elizabeth line. Although this scenario is set in 2012. So we should get quite a lot of trains sort of um, stopping there. And then past there it might be a bit quieter. Well, that's still quite a busy route though, isn't it? It's not It's not quiet in any uh, any way. I hope the one with DVD doesn't go off. Or DSD, whatever. Harold Wood. Love that horn. I'm going to press enter as we go along, just in case. Oh, hello, we've got on the back here. First Scott Rail, nice. Now oh, on the tail lights on, I'm brilliant. Let's get back in before we break something. Or before the train has a hissy fit. Lovely though. I just wish we had um, this sort of trail. I suppose on Train Sim World it would have to be the 91 um, with then the DVT, which, yeah, is like this. Who'd like to see yeah, that on TSW? East Coast Main Line. Needs to happen. Oh, I can see yellow's still really far far up, so we're still following some we're still following that train. And what has been routed ahead of us? I mean I thought yeah, this service was meant to be like the Ipswich sixty. Like it's meant to be a super duper quick service. And then Norwich 90. Or maybe that's like a, I don't know, another one in the day. Are we getting stuck behind a slow train? We'll have a look and see what the, what is the culprit? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, this one here. Liverpool Street to South End, Victoria. 3, 2, 1. So that will probably go, that go, does that go off here? Maybe. Well, it must go off at some point. Yeah, South End's sort of the complete opposite way to where we're going. Do we speed out or do we sort of just sit at this speed? Because, I mean, that's probably going to stop at Shenfield, isn't it? 
maybe in Brentwood as well, I don't know what's up there as well, that's the one just before. Well, we know, we know when we're getting close, is we'll probably get the yellows bringing us down. Uh, oh, in fact, I think we're coming up fairly soon, actually. Yeah, we're coming up to Brentwood now, because you sort of go around that big corner, then into Shenfield. So we must be coming up to that now. And yeah, if that train's stopping at Shenfield, there's no point sort of speeding up too much. Although we do have greens, but I mean, look how short the signal blocks are. Is it really worth it? I'm just gonna save the game again, just sort of as we go along, just just in case. I know this version sort of meant to stop this route from crashing every two minutes. I mean, yeah, this, the, the the Dovetail Games version of this route is just rubbish. It just crashes too much. Although I suppose it's such an old route. Um, but then the Brighton Main Line, that's an old route, and that doesn't crash. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was the way they developed the original Great Eastern Main Line back in 2013. No, you've got to wait until we get to Colchester. You've got to be patient. Can't stop, you know, can't keep going out as soon as we start recording. Right, this is Brentwood. As I remember when we did the first look, it was like, oh, it's quite quick through here, 90. On the corner. And 315 there, and that lovely, uh, what livery is that? Is that the, the one livery? No. Like, then another one, not the Ocean Network Express. So I don't know my liveries too, too much on here. All I know is there's been lots of train companies and liveries on this route in the past sort of five to ten years. That, that, I don't know if you can hear, that smudge on the PC knocking um, the USB stick around. So it's quite sensitive, the um, pickup on it. Go on then, go and sit there and then go to sleep. I mean, she'll probably want to be climbing over the desk in a minute. So we're trying to drive the train. Right, let's speed up, we're going a bit slow now. I think we probably let that train... Stop at Shenfield now. Oh, there's a, uh, a 360. I suppose I can actually see it, as it seems most of the time I always have issues trying to use the, um, well, sort of see the 360. Right, I've got green light, that's good. So, yeah, Shenfield, I believe, is up next. Oh, that, what's that? Warning for 75? Yeah, 75. We've got around 25 minutes or so now to Colchester. We're going, we're going back to what I was saying earlier. 50 odd miles between Liverpool Street and Colchester. I mean, yeah, that is the same as Victoria to Brighton. Just non stop. In, what was it, 45 minutes or so? So quite quick. Well, quick for UK standards. Right, let's speed up because we have got all greens now. And I, yeah, I'd probably say that train's probably gone off now. It's buggered off to South End. We're going to Ipswich. Well, South End's a city now, isn't it? South End. City of South End. Which I think got done quite recently. Yeah, it's a Shenfield. So sort of yeah, where you'll probably see a lot of well, a lot of trains do terminate here. So we should now be, f frame rate wise, more in the clear. I mean the little refresh whilst I was doing something that probably helped out as well. But yeah, it's just a lot of AI on here. All right, and then up to eighty and up to ninety. Oh, neutral section. Ooh, I just. <laughs> Literally just. And go again. Yeah, we're sort of out, we're out, out, out in the woods now, out in the country. 
Yeah, you can see it's gone up to 30 FPS now. Which is well smooth, so that's what the video is recording in as well. So nice and quick. Put that down, and we've got mileage wise. Oh, still 30 miles to cover. What am I thinking of Chelm? Oh, Chelmsford. I'm, I must be. Maybe I'm thinking of Chelm. I must. Yeah, I'm thinking of Chelmsford. Not Colchester, because Colchester's right up close to um, Ipswich, isn't it? Well, closer. Yeah, I'm thinking of Chelmsford. Which is, well, much closer. We're going to have a little fly-by shot in a minute. Let's uh, just save the game again. Now we're sort of out, out in the country. Nice little shot as we go through. What was the coat? Is there, did anyone travel on um, on this? What was it like? I mean, the coaches look pretty nice. It must have been comfy. What they mark for is got the big seats like on HSTs. And this was hat had was this hat yeah Hatfield Peveril? Or am I jumping ahead again? I'm jumping ahead again. This is in in Gate Stone. So I think we stopped there on the um, in the three one seven. Cool. So top speed's a hundred miles an hour. I don't know where we get up to that. Or maybe we don't. Um Uh, must do, yeah. 100 miles an hour. Let's have a look at the map. <laughs> Let's guess where the 100's going to be. I mean, this bit's fairly straight along here. You'd think this might be up to 100. There's Chelmsford there. Oh, that full bit there could be 100. It's quite sort of straight there, isn't it? Oh. Church bells are ringing. Let's give a little honk back. Yeah, <laughs> all the bells are going in that church there. Oh, let's do the. I don't know how well you can hear that, but those church bells really are going for it. Do that. It's a good horn, definitely a good horn on this train. Try and get a nice photo as well at some point along here. How are we doing performance wise? Yeah, 30 FP. Oh, I know 30 or so. But that's alright. Again, that's smooth, so that's good. Oh, looks like another train's probably coming. So you can tell when another train's coming because the FPS just drops down. Not like lots, not too noticeable, but it does drop a bit. There's another 90. Uh, let's try and get a little shot along here. We'll just do pause break. There we go. So, very cool looking train, this one. I don't like there, there. Go away. Alright, there we go. Oh, did that even take. Yeah, it did, right. We got a passenger view on here. We do not have a passenger view. No. Sort of an outside view. Near the front. I'm still flooring it along. On this, uh, we're quite high up now, aren't we, as well? There we go. 
Yeah, so it should bring down the miles fairly. Uh, yeah, 36 FPS there it went up to. So, so it basically, it's just going up as we're here, as we head out into the country. Yes. What's that for? That'll be for the 60 through yeah, Chelmsford. Oh, another train already. It's just so busy. It's such a busy route. Like busier than the East Coast main line. Seems like it's so many trains. There's a three two one. There we go. Oh the FPS is the FPS went down there a bit. Plus it's not like well, I don't know. It might just be my um, my games. As I said, I reinstalled. I reinstalled. Let's uh, uh, be speeding here a bit, aren't we? Yeah, I reinstalled um, Train Sim Classic. Um, so all the graphical settings. Um, yeah, all sort of changed. The 85. I thought we had a bit more time for the 60 there, but uh, no, no. Caught, caught off, caught off guard. And we've got an 85 there. Oh, then 100. Oh, yeah, because no. Yeah, did we get to 100 in the 317? Or was that 90? Yeah, we might got to 100 in the 317. Then we had to slow it right down. For Whitam, possibly. I doubt it would have been as monumentous getting up to ninety. All right, let's get that up. There you go, hundred. Nice. And Colchester is now probably still what twenty five miles are we saying? Twenty miles, so a bit closer and Ipswich is now thirty seven miles. There we go. I don't know what Ipswich was to begin with. I mean Colchester was about fifty, wasn't it? Yeah, fifty miles. Was it seventy? No, seventy yeah, seventy miles I think all the way to Ipswich. So we are Mileage wise, coming up to halfway. Uh, although time wise, we're probably. We've actually got no time to get to Ipswich. Obviously, 10, yeah, 10 minutes after Manning Tree. About 40 minutes or so. Which. Yeah, no, yeah, we left. Yeah, we left. Yeah, 30 minutes from. Yeah. So we've got about uh, almost halfway time wise. This is running alright through here. Cool. Now up to a hundred. Let's do it. And our eighty-two. But now if you are enjoying the video, uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up. Hopefully I don't seem too deflated. It was uh halfway through on the early shifts, so uh a tad tired, but I thought I want to get on the GML and uh, do some not uh, well fast action. I was about to say 90 action, well, we've got the 90 behind us, but yeah, DVT slash 90 action. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm like half asleep whilst recording this, but the show must go on. Oh, you can put that blind down. Didn't look like it was an interact, but you actually have to sort of there hold it and then. Oh, you got that if you want to play around with the blind. And that one. Well, the GSMR doesn't work. I'm assuming yeah, it is quite an old um, enhancement pack. 
And it's on the older ones you sort of get. Well, actually, they're saying that the Class 700, that's not an old one. You don't get the GSMR. It's a bit sort of hit and miss, the GSMR on um, AP enhancement packs. Like, the 700 doesn't have it. The 377, which was in a 375, 377, that's got it. Um, that's an EP. 170 doesn't. Uh, what else does? Oh. What else? What other EP things have? Uh, 455, that's an EP. That's got. That's, yeah, that's got GSMR. I think it's the 313 that doesn't have GSMR. So they're sort of a bit hit and miss. Let's get another fly by shot going through. I think this one might be. Is this Hatfield Peveril? Pev. Pev. Yeah. Yeah, so we were well ahead. I mean, that is just awesome. There it goes. Ignore the tail lights. That was the previous driver's fault for not popping them on. Oh, uh, well, yeah. It's so weird just using the, um, <laughs> the numpad enter. You sort of got to go, you know, all your fingers are sort of on Q, W, A, S, D, sort of that area. You've got to go right over to the other side. Because my other hand's on the mouse. So we can sort of look around and look at the pretty scenery. So does it stay 100 going all the way through with him? Or with him, with him? Or will it come down a little bit, like to 90 or so? I've right, got a warning for a neutral section, so we'll just let it coast. We are going downhill as well, so we should maintain our speed. While saying that, we're slowing down. Brilliant. Right, we've got the neutral section anyway, so we'll just let it roll. There we go. And yeah, this is yeah, Whitten. So that's with him. I feel like it's Whitten. I think that's the way I originally was saying it, Whitten. So I was just talk about Manning Tree though. Yeah, Manning. Why do we talk about Manning Tree? I know you've got the um, interchange for the Harridge. Uh, maybe that's why, because you get people. Yeah, you know, on this sort of fast one up. No, because you get the services from Liverpool Street to Harwich, don't you? Or do you not? I thought you sort of had quite fast services to Harwich, which then connect with the ferries. Maybe that's sort of the reason for us stopping there, so people can get off and get on the train to uh, a connecting train to well, the ferry. Oh, we're also once we get to Manager, we'll have a little look see to see if there's actually any scenery on the Harwich branch because I think on the Dovetail Games version the track works there but there's no scenery so I wonder if ATS have actually popped some scenery there so I think it was like a separate mod or something to be able to drive down there with scenery so I'll sort of have a little inspection once we're there It's way out in the countryside now at 45 FPS. And some of the older routes you can get up to like 100 FPS. Of course, this being an updated, much more detailed route now. It's slightly lower. Cool. But now yeah, we'll be doing this route quite a lot. I mean,. Do more scenarios, scenario makers, and uh, you know we'll cover sort of as many as we can. Um, I mean, yeah, it was thirty-two quid for the subscription. Oh my god, the church bells are going mad again. I'm sure there's not some sort of invasion going on or something. All the all the bells go, church bells ringing. Right through another station. There's another 90. 
Oh, well, that's got a mix of coaches. Look at that. Let's have a look on the... Oh, well, not that one. On the map. Where are we? We are... We're there. So that was Kelverden. And the next station up is Mark's Tay, which you've got some sort of line off to there from Mark's Tay. Yeah, there's a brand, yeah, brand, oh. I'm looking at my little map off on the wall. Mark's Tay to, what's that, Sud, is that Sudbury that's down there? Just about, I've got my light on, so I can't really sit. Is it Sudbury? Possibly. Sudbury, no. No, yeah, I think so. S Sudbury. Yeah, we've done the 317. We've now done the DVT slash the, the 90. Well, the DVT. As is the next train to drive is, yeah, the Dusty Bin 321. Or the 315. Do a sort of a, a slow service. And then the Flirt at some point as well. Which will probably be, I don't know, how much do you think the flirt's going to be? It's got to at least be £30. I should then put my my expenditure for sort of this route up to, uh, well, up to uh, 90 odd pounds. So yeah, £32 for the ATS subscription, although that is a whole year, and we can also do the, um, the West Coast Mainline North west well, that's sort of out of my area of uh yeah, out of my sort of not down south which we do mostly on TSC and then yeah it was I think £17 for the 90 EP so what, basically what we're driving now because I think it also counts the DVD uh, DVT um and then, oh, again. And yeah, £14.99 for the Mark 3s. Some coaches. That was one where it was like, oh, okay, we'll do it. So yeah, we'll be on this route, hopefully, a, a fair bit. Right, Mark's Tay. So the branch on off to Sudbury. Let's um, what we'll do actually, we'll go pause break. So does it have any signage saying to Sudbury or? It's a proper small platform. Look at that, proper small platform. So the trains continue on as well. Oh, track two maintenance boogaloo. That's cool. See so some more modern assets being used. Honey and Bert. Um, yeah, there's Mark's tail. Let's uh, do that. Absolutely storm by. Yeah, Colchester, here we come, which is now in four miles. So with the brakes on this thing, we're going to start slowing down fairly quickly. <coughs> Yeah, there we go. Do that. And there's a little full stick there. But yeah, we will sort of be careful with the brakes on here as you know, they don't seem you know, great. As we don't know the route and sort of where, you know, what's close to Colchester. Well, our first sign of it will be on the um, track map. Which hopefully will allow us time to slow down. Three miles. So save the game again, just in case anything goes on. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, there are, well, another thing to mention, 
um, about the route. There are quite a few requirements, which you do need to then be able to play the route. Yeah, you know, track EP is uh, well, the track EP and signal EP are optional, but it just it, I wouldn't play without them. Well, I was saying that the first that we didn't have the signal EP installed. Um, but it's a track EP. You don't want to play off the original track because I mean that's not not nice. I'm going over there. It's a little bridge. All right, let's start slowing down. As we are now approaching Colchester. The brakes are doing something. I mean, they are slowing us down a little bit. Should have plenty of time. And we are formed of... It's actually very good. Christian, what are we formed of? Two... At least ten. Two, four... I'm thinking ten. Possibly ten. See, it's kind of like the little blocks are really... Well, actually, they should um, go up. They should zoom in in a second. So that will help. Yeah, I think we're probably 10. Maybe 12? Well, we'll probably be to the end of the platform. So we've got a little depot up here. There you go. Two, four, six. Oh, we might actually be 12. Oh, I'll be 10. It'll be to the end of the platform either way. He might even say, you know, class 90 slash DBT stopping point. I can't imagine it's a short platform either. Oh, there's a 3 2 one they Very nice motor sounds. to there. In fact, we may not even have the signage for the 90s. Obviously, now these are, they don't run on this route anymore. But, I mean, yeah, it should be to the end. Yeah, 12 car stop. We're going to stop on there. Now, yeah, this is cold. Our oh, first station stop we're here yeah about 45 minutes since we uh, began and that actually we might as well get a nice shot of that I want to try and get Colchester in there but I don't want to zoom out too much probably end up cutting out Colchester poor thing a few little screenies Right, how long we got here? 48 would you have? Four minutes. Oh, we're a little bit early, actually. Cool. Is that the train? What was that? Monstrous sound. Right, as we're waiting here, in fact, let's. I'll skip this bit for you guys. Saves you guys waiting for four minutes. I shall see you all in a second. And there we go, now we're off. Bit of a jolt, but we want to get moving. Right, I may have cut that bit. If I cut that bit, what just happened is, whilst we were waiting there at Colchester, I went to the 90 um, to, to put on the tail lights. Better late than never. Was that the hot horse? That's cool. It's the horse with the horn. Um, yeah, I, I went to I just put on, literally just just the tail lights, put them on, and for some reason it had keyed me on. So the master key was on and the reverser was set. All I've done is literally just use the arrow keys to get in and put the tail lights on. So then when I was trying to apply power here, it just said, nope, nope, no, you're not, not going anywhere. So we're going to be a bit late now. We're due at Mark, well, Manning Tree now almost, and it's still, well, still seven miles away. Well, off we go. 
straight into a neutral section. So where did that go? Got another line coming off there. So how many? Oh, Colchester Town, which I think uh, do we risk it and fly? Let's save it and then we'll fly down. I think there's scenery down to Colchester Town. Yeah, and then round into here. Yeah, so Colchester Town does have scenery. Um, but I don't think if you go up the other way, I think it then runs out. Oh no, you can go some other way. How far can... Yeah, until there and it runs out. You just knew that was going to happen, didn't you? I mean... That's why it gets annoying. It's like, really? No warning of that going off. So we'll come to a stop now. Don't do it soon. And we go again. The lights come on. The little the magic yellow light. There we go. That's quite nice, actually. Lovely livery though on the um, on the night. So I've actually got a model of that. That's why I was quite surprised. Um, what if it's actually the same one? That would be really cool. Let me quickly get the model. Which is um, <laughs> it might be. It might even be the exact one. I don't know how many there were. Oh, zero one nine. What was the one we've got on the back? Oh, zero two four. Um, thing going off again. Yeah, look, I don't know how well you can see that on the webcam, but yeah, that's uh, Class 90 with the first ScotRail uh, livery on it, which I picked up oh, probably at Brighton Model World in 2000 and... But well, when this is sort of set, so 2011, 2012. Again, don't know if you can even see that on there, but um, yeah, that's cool. Let's put our little 90 uh, up, up there for now, in front, in front, of, the, in front of our Omni Decker. Lovely. As we speed up from an entry. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it, yeah, don't panic. I have to be careful. Well, I said, well, once we get some man in trail, it'll fly down the Harwich um, branch. But it should be alright as we're stopped. Might as well be at a stand. So getting that speed nicely up again. On the same, we don't have too far. Well, five miles. But it's coming down fairly quick. Another mix and match there on the uh, southbound express. So, look, is that one any different to us? So we've seen quite, seen quite a few of them. So we're Liverpool Street to Norwich. One Papa three four. What's that? Oh, well that's yeah. That is yeah. Literally the opposite of us. Yeah. All right there. Don't panic there. We got it. Yeah. Well out in the country though. Well and truly out of London on this mammoth journey. It's got a really good horn this train. Good haul. Cool. Well, almost that man in tree. And then from there, I think it's fairly close to Ipswich. Yeah, well, 12 miles. But, um, yeah, not sort of too far. Well, we'll be ten, yeah, about nine miles from there. 
so yeah, 10 minutes or so, and then, yeah, then that, all that will be it. For uh, this journey. Anyways, I'm recording this on the day the Semmering Barns come out for trains and where it's like, well, I should really be playing that, but, I mean, it's enticed me, this, um, this one. Especially now, I've actually got it working. Oh, there we go, yeah. Right, let's start slowing down. For the 70. And again, step five. It's like the hills near Ipswich, because I know you go you go through quite a big tunnel, don't you, coming into Ipswich? So that's sort of through those hills over there. As we come up to Manning Tree. And we do not want to be coming in at 50 because this train, as we know, the brakes aren't fantastic. I mean, that's full service. I mean, that's not, like, great, is it? I mean, that's, like, step two or on, like, a Electro Star. <laughs> We're still coming in a bit quick. We're coming in at 30. I mean, it should be. If it's a 12-coach platform, all right. If it's a short platform, not so much. Which it could actually be a short platform. Oh, there's a 360 coming. Yes, there we go. Oh, maybe just about a 12 coach platform, literally barely. Yeah, the 12 coach mark actually just squidged on the end there. Do we actually fit in? Right, here we are. Let's do the doors. Literally just. In fact, it doesn't even. It doesn't want to count it as a stop, um, which isn't particularly helpful. So such a lot. Yeah, as we're such a long train. Train. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't actually think we're on the platform. What about that? No, even that doesn't count. Well, as we're here, let's just stop. We'll just, we'll just go through. Um, this is Manning Tree. So you've got the branch. Let's just save the game. You've got the branch off to off to Harwich. Does it have seen? Oh, it doesn't. Or does it? Oh, the game's about to crash. I've crashed the game. See you in a minute, everybody. I know I hadn't crashed the game, but I don't think there's any scenery to Harwich. So I wonder if that'll be in phase two or whatever other phases they're gonna be doing. Right, let's get our man in tree. Right, so let's bring forward. Okay, we are. Right, off we go. Next station stop is Ipswich. Let's watch it leave him. Welcome. There's a neutral section just round there. Just pressing enter constantly, just just in case. Can't wait to drive from that end though. This is quite nice. Right, let's get back in. It should have updated, get updated to Ipswich now. So we'll say we didn't actually stop at Manning Tree, even though we did. So yeah, the train's just so long, it just didn't register it, uh, you know, being in the platform. Right, we'll get that up again. Cool. 
But you had really cool trains running. Well, I mean, this is a cool train, but you had like, um, yeah, I think the Class 86 is running on here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Class 86 is within like the cab car. Um, in like the, the Anglia, like, there's like a green Anglia livery. Really nice. Stunning livery. Well, sort of basic, but just really well suited. I think this might be the first time I've done a full run of the Great Eastern Main Line. As um, basically every other time, it's just crashed. So would it be a full successful run? Lots of whistleboards along here. I think it will probably be a while until I learn it like that. But really by the time the flirts come out, I do want to know it like that. Um, I mean, it's going to take a long old time to learn the stations. Um, I mean, there's there's so many on on the route, too many. And I think up to Norwich there's even more. Oh no, there's only like two or three. Yeah, Ipswich. Is there one? But there might be. There might be another one. But if not, Manning Tree. Um. Colchester. Marks Tay. I can't remember the one which was then in between. Calverston? Calverston? Yeah, Calverston. Calverston, then it was Whitton. Hat, uh, Hat, yeah, it was then Hatfield, Peveril. Uh, and then Chelmsford? Maybe, yeah, there's just a lot on here. As long as I know the ones with GA stop. Oh, let's get the uh, that back to that. There we go. Made it on the the big hut. Don't need the big hut. But no, if you're watching this far into the video, thanks everybody for coming in. It's a long old one. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get back on the GML, do sort of a full line run of phase one, which is yeah, Liverpool straight up zips. Which um, yeah, give it a go. I did also, I've also done a video on the Felix though branch, but I'm probably going to re-record that, as that was using sort of the old graphical settings, which, you know, didn't look great, and all the platforms were just sort of odd. So I'll probably just do that one um, again. As and when. But I suppose if you weren't stopping at Colchester or Manning Tree, well, it's about two minutes per stop, four minutes, you probably could do it in under an hour. Maybe if it was a quick stop at Colchester, you might then also be able to fit it under an hour. Yeah, I think it's called the Norwich 90. I don't know if they actually still run that service. as sort of advertising, you know, Norwich 90, but... Uh, yeah, fast old one. But yeah, cruising on nine. Let's get one more fly by shot. Actually, we'll wait for the alarm to go off first. Bring the DSD down here. We'll let that go off. There we go. Right, out we go. Oh, hello. Oh, what? Right, there we go. Yeah, that would do. Loud old machine. Oh, the brakes haven't come on yet. So we're going quite steep downhill here. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, all good. So this must be the approach to Ipswich. Yeah, two miles. We're, we're almost there. Down. There we go. But now, uh, hopefully, everybody has enjoyed that. Um, it's great to be on the route. 
great that it's now all working okay. Well, it's going to start coming down to 45, really, don't we? Oh, that'll be the warning for the 45. Cool. Put that even further. There we go. Is that to 30 actually? another train on the way in. No, oh, that's not our signal there. No, <laughs> we're all good. In case it was an offset signal. Looks like it's bi-directional, this bit. And yeah, through the tunnel and into Ipswich. Which then, yeah, you do get scenery over to Felix Day. Um, which we'll see that at some point. So there, that's good. Here we are. And then, yeah, another 30 minutes on top, and it's Norwich. That should be right to the end here. Or is it? But actually, you haven't seen any stop markers. But I assume it's just to the end. I suppose they haven't completely updated it. Switch. Here we are. Now oh, these blimmin' brakes are just not nice brakes. Just before the signal. There we go. So that's that. We'll whack that on. Uh, but yeah, that is Ipswich. Uh, hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. That was a full Liverpool Street, London Liverpool Street to uh, Ipswich run. There's another train on the way, isn't there? I can hear something somewhere. Um, links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. I'll leave a link for the route as well if you want to give it a go. Again, it is ATS members, so you do need to become... It's an ATS subway route. Um, and obviously you've got all the requirements as well. Um, very nice, yeah. Um, down from London. Oh, yeah, because it's weird, isn't it? Up, yeah. Um, apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.